Professor uh, Williams, uh, shall we begin? Yeah. yeah. In present time, many new astronomy theories emerged, such as string theory, M theory, parallel universes, and uh, dark energy. To what extent can the astronomy community build consensus about these theories? The answer is n a little bit, but not much. And the reason is those are physical theories. And so most of the consequences of those theories do not necessarily lie in the astronomical world. They lie in the physical world. And so particle accelerators and uh, other physical processes will be the ways in which those theories are either confirmed or rejected. There are a few astronomical applications for some of them. For example, string theory does have some astronomical implications. And it may be possible for us to make some statements about the likelihood of string theory. But it's very difficult to prove through astronomy uh, that the theory is correct or incorrect. It's much easier to disprove a theory than it is to prove it because to disprove a theory you only need to find one fact that is inconsistent. So I would say in general the realm of those theories is in physics rather than in astronomy and astrophysics. Okay. The next question is about the discovery of the extra solar planet orbiting within the habitable zone of a sun-like star. Does this discovery provide new possibilities for finding the extraterrestrial life and even alien civilization? The answer is yes. The existence of other planets to us makes it more likely that life may be found. However, that doesn't mean that it will be there. And I must say that my own thinking has changed on this matter. Most astronomers believe that in an infinite universe such as we have, with billions and billions of stars and planets, it is very likely that life is out there. But of course, we have no evidence. To me, the fact that the planet Mars is so much like Earth, and we know that life developed on Earth, that means to me that if life is, is common in the universe, I would expect it on Mars. And so for me, the results of this newest NASA mission that we call Curiosity that just landed two weeks ago on Mars, the results of that, whether it finds any evidence for life, will be very important for me in deciding for myself whether I think there is life very common in the universe. I frankly am surprised that we have not already found evidence for microbes on Mars. We know that on Earth, life is very hardy. You find it in, in volcanoes, I mean, you find it in the bottom of the ocean. So I would think that uh, one would expect life to exist on Mars, and yet there's no evidence for it. That means to me maybe there was some special accident that occurred on Earth that led to life, and so perhaps life is not as common in the universe as we think. Okay. Uh, the next question is, what is the primary research direction for the astronomy community in the next few years? Well, the astronomy community is very large and we have many interests, just like normal people have many interests in music. Some people like classical music, some people like uh, hip music, or the Beatles. Astronomers uh, like many different uh, topics. Um, However, that said, I think that trying to understand how stars and galaxies formed will probably be one of the central themes of astronomy in the coming decade. And that is relevant to how life formed, because we believe that for life to th exist, you have to have certain favorable conditions. And through the lifetime of a planet, the conditions change. And so we want to know 
what physical processes cause that change and what the impact is on the formation of life. Okay. The next question is very long. Yeah. Um, Catalina Sky Survey is one of the astronomy projects very closely related to the fate of mankind. In a sense, astronomers are the centuries for the planet Earth and should a special responsibility for human destiny. It is said that the Siding Spring Survey in Australia will close its monitoring system due to funding shortage. It is very worrying news. During your term, how could astronomers strengthen the monitoring on potentially hazardous asteroids and comets? Well, first of all, astronomy is what is called a pure science. That is, it doesn't have practical applications that affect human life. And so it's easy to say that one can live one's life without knowing anything about astronomy. But that's also true about music. One can live one's life without music. But can you imagine how poor it would be? I believe that without an understanding of the universe, one's life is poor because human life has developed on this planet. This planet is part of the universe and this whole evolution is really important to humans understanding our role in the universe. Now, in terms of asteroids that may be heading toward the Earth, how do we detect them? We detect them by having surveys that photograph the sky. And in fact, there is a, a survey, a, tele, a special telescope that is being developed right now in the United States that will photograph the entire sky every week. And so what you do, if an asteroid is moving toward us, there will be some movement that you detect. And so a telescope like this, which is called the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, complicated English words, it can detect such asteroids. Now, the, it, it can detect them, but that doesn't mean that we can stop them. That's a more complicated process. The fact is the energy of asteroids may be too great for humans to be able to take corrective actions. Sometimes natural phenomena impose themselves upon human societies and do very damaging things. If it's a small asteroid, we might be able to uh, explode it uh, with a nuclear device. This is still very far off in the future. For a larger asteroid, there is absolutely nothing we could do and um, uh, so my advice is live a good life, have fun, love your family, and, and hope for the best. Hope that one doesn't happen in our lifetime. <laughs>